I'm Amber McMahon and I'm in a broadcast coup. Very excited to work with Priscilla Jackman again and uh, writer Melanie Tate. Here in Sydney, we all listen to the radio. We actually care about radio much more than any of the other states, apparently. And a broadcast coup is going to take you basically behind the scenes, inside the studio, to see the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs of really smart, funny people trying to do their best and not always succeeding. Jez Connell is a diehard journalist and she's on the trail of pretty much every bloke in town who's been doing wrong by their female colleagues. And she's after Mike King this time, who's the king of Sydney radio, a bit of nominative determinism there. And we go inside Mike's office and we meet the different characters that he works with, the producers he works with, his boss that he clashes with, and we find out all the things that contribute to the broadcast coup that goes on. We worked together on the Appleton Ladies Potato Race, which was um, such fun and uh, we all had a great time on that. And uh, yeah, Mel's uh, fabulous at kind of capturing uh, the vernacular of groups of people. And um, so, yeah, really excited to have different, uh, di different subject matter this time, but um, she goes in hard, so she packs a punch. I really thought that in this post Me Too world that the radio land and the media was ripe for the picking. You know, it's been the case for such a long time that the person with the most power is the person with their name on the show or the person with their face on the TV. Whereas what's actually going on is there's a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes and sometimes lines can get blurred, relationships can get blurred and I thought that this was a really good time to explore all of that.